shape and size. Amoeba proteus is an unicellular microscopic animal cuny and measures about 250 to 600 microns in maximum diameter. The larger amoeba proteus is just visible as a whitish spot by naked eye. Under the microscope, it appears as an irregular, colorless, and translucent mass of protoplasm. It constantly changing its shape, producing and withdrawing finger-like processes called pseudopodia. When it withdraws all its pseudopodia, it becomes spherical in shape. Far from being shapeless, it has definite anterior and posterior ends. At the anterior end, the animal puts out pseudopodia, while the posterior end it marked by a wrinkled region called uroid. Pseudopodia. Pseudopodia is derived from two words. Pseudo means falls and podium means foot. These are irregular blunt processes of the cell body. They are also called poles feet. These are of variable size and are capable of project out or withdraw, often with considerable speed. These are formed as a result of liquefaction and flowing forward of the cytoplasm. As many pseudopodia are formed simultaneously, amoeba proteus is called polypodial species. If pseudopodia are large and broad with rounded tips, such pseudopodia are called lobopodia. Plasma lemma. Amoeba devoid of pellicle or cell wall. The body is covered by a very thin, delicate plasma membrane called plasma lemma. This membrane is selectively permeable. As unusual feature associated with plasma lemma is the presence of numerous fine ridge-like extensions on its outer surface. It believes that these have adhesive properties and serve to bind the animalculi to substratum. Cytoplasm Within the plasma lemma, the dense cytoplasm containing several organelles it is differentiated into two distinct zones, an outer ectoplasm and an inner endoplasm. Ectoplasm Lying at immediate bennet of the plasma lemma, ectoplasm is thin, clear and transparent. It is rather rigid, contractile and under tension. It is most clearly visible at the tip of a pseudopodium called a hyaline cap. Endoplasm Completely surrounded by ectoplasm, the endoplasm forms the bulk of the animal. It is fluid-like, granular and semi-transparent. As the ectoplasm is under tension, the endoplasm must also be under pressure of the ectoplasm. Endoplasmic organelles Under light microscope, a number of organelles are visible. They are found within the endoplasm. These organelles 